Good morning, good morning, y'all. It is officially Sunday fun day. Y'all see me in the car, so y'all already know it's a vibe today, okay? Uh, yesterday, we did a live cop for those light smoke gray ones. It wasn't successful, but I always tell y'all, stay positive and something good will always come from the situation. So, hey, I was out here, you know, trying to make some moves, trying to make some calls, and, you know, sadly, um, there was some people that wasn't really, you know, vibing with me, wasn't really helping me in the community, but I said, hey. Let me stick to what I know. So shout out to a real one. Uh, my guy called me last night and he said, hey coach, first thing in the morning, come pick your pair up. We got you. So um, I'm headed to the mall right now. Let's go pick these joints up. Don't worry about us when they see us doing good. They don't want to see better. Let's shoot for the stars and swing for the clouds. Forever since today, don't worry about tomorrow. Let's get lost in the covers until the morning comes. While sleep our lives away just to wake up to someone else. Beyond you, there's nobody else. Is it wrong that I want you to myself? Shit, I'm self. I'm, I'm tainted now, you ruin me. You check off the list of the many things you do to me. And all of the perversions got me wanting to settle down. Hallelujah, you discern it. Put a ring on it. Drop you right up to the church where we say our I, I do's and honeymoon against the surf. I'm just saying, love, life without you would be average. Who you know wants to settle for that shit? Truth be told, you're the whole package. Head to toe, hands down, you're more than I could ever ask for. Anything you need, let me know so we can plan for it. Pack light, red eye, roll over on your passport. Your views change. 180 from your vantage point. Window seats till we touch down. Let's shoot for the stars and swing for the clouds. Forever's in today, don't worry about tomorrow. Let's get lost in the covers until the morning comes. While sleep our lives away when we can live more. The inevitable's unsure. Don't let this moment pass. Right now I'm all yours. It's so close you can touch it The world's at your fingertips Don't be afraid to touch it Yes, y'all Hey, I'm so excited And my guys in there They was bringing it today uh, They had their heat on um, They definitely said the people were out here You know, acting a little foolish Over these sneakers But um, I was glad I was able to secure my pair. Hey, shout out to, to Cuzzo, a uh, clothing brand. You know, he got me right for the day. I'm out here and y'all seen, you already seen I was flexing. Had to bring out my waffles. Just a little slight flex today. Uh, but I secured that pair. So we're going to get them home. I'm extremely excited to see uh, what the quality on these uh, grade school pair look like versus uh, what we've seen, obviously, with the men's. So let's see how Jordan Brand uh, did us this time around, right? To the crib. Yes, y'all, we are back at the crib. And as y'all see, your girl is the bag lady. Yes. I am so hyped, y'all don't even know right now. I was extremely, extremely surprised though. Um, when he did give me a call on the phone, there apparently was a lot of people um, that left behind these pairs. That just blew me. Um, due to the fact that Finish On is actually the first one uh, that lets you know whether you hit on their raffle or you missed out. So for me, I probably would have secured my pair at finish line and then any other raffles that I hit on decided at that point whether I was going to pick them up or, you know, just go ahead and let them go. But 
I thank whoever passed on these pairs because I was able to get a delayed W. So I appreciate it. We get that black Nike box with the red Nike. Yes. This is officially the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG GS. Official colorway is white, black, LT smoke gray, USA 7Y, personal pair. And these retailed at $130, y'all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. If there was ever any doubt, all that's out the window, y'all. All that is out the window. The only thing to do now, y'all, is put it in the mix. I know, y'all, a lot of people was really wondering, including myself, about the quality of the GS pair compared to the men's. Oh my goodness, y'all. Jordan Brand, they have outdone themselves again. Okay, let's jump into it, y'all. So, starting with that black outer sole, we do see that Nike in the center. Okay, as we move up to that midsole, it is a white dominant. Um, the one thing I do love about that black outer sole is the fact that we don't have to really worry about um, it getting dirty, so to say. But as we move into the upper, that's where a lot of people are kind of questionable about the materials that were used. But in my opinion, this is crazy. Okay, so as we look at this upper panel, guys, this white leather is actually pretty nice um it, it has more of a tumble feel to it extremely extremely soft um we do have this nike sign that's black and it's also suede so that's something different as well we're used to more of a leather nike check I, i'm feeling this vibe though I definitely am. Um, and everywhere that we see that light smoke gray is going to be sort of like that plush uh, suede feel to it. Uh, you definitely can see as you rub on it, it's going to give you like a, a backstroke. Um, gosh, y'all. The material is crazy. This is crazy. Now, uh, one thing I will say is a lot of people were wondering you know about this sneaker and has some concerns as far as when it gets dirty or maybe your jeans wearing off into the material I will say when I took it out the box um, it did leave some uh, material on my shirt so it, it kind of is going to shed but as far as the dye from your jeans and things I'll, I'm going to be more on the safe side so I'm going to probably rock this with uh, more of black denim or even more so uh, sweats than anything because let's be honest you cannot go wrong with a pair of sweats right so um that's what's kind of going to keep me on the safe side moving up that collar area guys we do get that red leather and that's extremely soft as well um, then we get that wings logo embedded in there and that's going to be black and we do get a strip of black suede around that uh, collar, the lining of that collar. So um, as we move to the front of the sneaker, uh, we do have a white toe box and that is leather as well, okay? Actually, let me take out this shoe tree so we can kinda see the quality behind that. Let's see, there we go. Yeah, so not bad at all guys moving up that tongue it is white and then at the top we have a black tab and it's going to have that nike in red and on the back of that tab we just get the nike branding as far as laces okay we do get two pairs 
uh, you guys see that it automatically is laced, um, well I should say half laced, right, with the black laces and then we get a pair of the white. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to rock them with the white y'all. But um, when I, I give you guys that on feet look that I'm going to definitely do one in one so you can kind of decide for yourself um, and see how you feel about it. Okay. Now, as we move around to the medial side of the sneaker, it is going to be identical as far as the materials and the color blocking goes. Um, now, as we get up on this side of the collar, uh, we do not have the branding. That's going to be the only variation in this shoe, guys. Now, as we move around to the heel, this is where it all comes together, y'all. We have that light smoke gray uh, plush suede back here. And then we get the black from the Nike Swoosh as well as some white from that panel up there. And it goes into that red leather variation back there. And at the top of that heel collar, we do get a black suede up there. Nice, just a little nice detail there. Um, getting inside the sneaker, um, as you guys can see, it is a black insole and you will have that red Nike, guys. Man, I don't see anything, uh, a, a few, just a few uh, glue spots, but outside of that, guys, it looks like the material on this GS is just as good as the material on the men's. And I am pretty satisfied, guys. Yes. This was definitely a nice one that they gave us. Man, I, I am looking forward to getting in these. Anyways, if this is your first time stopping by D Reed's Heat, welcome. I truly hope you uh, enjoy the uh, pickup vlog and for everyone returning, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all tuning in once again. Before we check out, y'all, y'all already know, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so y'all don't miss out on anything. You know in this channel, you're going to get a variety of sneakers. Hey, you might even get some hooping vlogs. You never know, right? You just gotta stay tuned. So let's take a look at this on foot, y'all. Spend this time with you So don't tell me you got plans 